former Prime Minister of Pakistan, Imran Khan, has now been in solitary confinement and incommunicado for 14 consecutive days. He has not been allowed to meet any family, lawyers or his personal physician during this time, raising serious concerns about his health. His ex-wife and the mother of his children, Jemima Goldsmith, took to Twitter earlier this week saying, and quote, This is not about politics, it's about my children's father, his human rights and international law, unquote. Pakistan's military intelligence agencies are in complete control of the Diyala prison where Imran Khan is being held. Pakistan Tehreek Insaf, the party of Imran Khan, announced on Wednesday that it would oppose the constitutional amendments and called for nationwide protests on Friday against the package and party founder Imran Khan's illegal incarceration. The party said, and quote, all regional and local organizations are instructed to hold vigorous but peaceful protests at all district headquarters after Friday prayers. Total agreement not to accept any attempt by the government to distort the constitution through the constitutional amendments, unquote. The military government has been abducting, torturing and intimidating members of PTI and other opposition parties into voting for a draconian constitutional amendment. The UN Special Rapporteur on the Independence of Judges and Lawyers has expressed serious concern over Pakistan's new proposed constitutional amendment and its impact on the independence of the judiciary, the human rights and the right to a fair trial. The Special Rapporteur, Margaret Satterthwaite, in a seven-page letter said, The creation of a new federal constitutional court gives extensive power to the executive, specifically the president, over judicial appointments. The executive is able to control or direct a judiciary, which is incompatible with the notion of an independent tribunal. Margaret Satterthwaite added that the amendments could compromise Pakistan's obligations under international human rights laws, such as the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights. Local regime allied media has hinted that the amendments would include the trial of civilians in a military court, which is primarily to prolong Imran Khan, the former Prime Minister of Pakistan's illegal incarceration. Students in Pakistan have continued their protests after a report of a rape on a college campus. Tensions have been high on college campuses since reports about the rape in the eastern city of Lahore went viral on social media and protests have broken out in four cities so far. On Thursday, Pakistan police fired tear gas, charged and arrested student protesters in Rawalpindi, where students protested at the Punjab group of college campus in the city. In Gujarat, also in the Punjab province, a security guard died in clashes between student protesters and police on Wednesday. The illegal, unelected Punjab chief minister, Mariam Narwaz, had termed the rape allegations as fake earlier this week in a press conference. Palestinian health officials have called for a humanitarian corridor to three hospitals in northern Gaza that have come close to collapse after Israeli troops have cut off the area during almost two weeks of a renewed ground assault. Hussam Abu Safia, director of the Kamal Adwan Hospital, on Wednesday said, and quote, We are calling on the international community, the Red Cross and the World Health Organization to play their humanitarian role by opening up a corridor towards our healthcare system and allow the entry of fuel. Israel's war on Gaza has killed at least 42,400 people, mostly women and children, since October 2023.